Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a sit spin. Now, we're going to do our backwards crossovers the regular way as if we're going into any other spin, like the one foot spin or the camel, okay? And we're going to do the same twist, yeah? So from there, our left arm's in front. As you step in, what I would like you to do is keep that left arm in front with the right arm behind you in this position, okay? And as you start curving, what you want to do is pretty much the same shape on the curve, but we're going to be slightly different in the body position. We're going to try and get down a little bit. So we're staying down the knee, and as we turn, we're going to stay that same position, keeping that left arm in front, and swoop your right leg round, and bring it in with the heel. So as you bring that leg round, what you want to do is bring your right arm round with it, so it's kind of matching the same circle. It's come round on a big circle, and we're turning the heel in with the right foot as that right arm comes in in front. As you grab your hands, what I want you to do is bring your right thumb into your left hand and then point down towards the ice slide, okay? And that's going to really help us put the tension forward because when we're doing this sit spin, it's really important that we keep our weight pressing forward. Now the position we want in the sit spin is we don't want to be upright with our back, but we don't want to be leaning right the way forward either, okay? So as you go down, you want to make sure you're pressing down in your knee and we are going to end up with our shoulders and nose over your knee and toes. So again, from that twist, you can that left arm forward, right arm around with the right arm and keep everything pressed nice and tight forward. Okay. And that should give us a nice centered spin. A common issue on sit spin is a lot of people think that the fall backwards. The main thing is a lot of the time you drop on the inside of your blade and then drop back. So it's really important as we're, as we're spinning, you're trying to keep the balance between your big toe and little toe pretty even, okay? If you feel it going over towards your big toe more, what we want to do is just press it over towards that little toe a little bit more and it should bring it back into the center of the spin and help it balance and stop you from falling backwards as much. Okay, so for the exit, what we want to do is we're going to try and keep in the same position. We're going to keep that leg out in front and arms out in front. We're just going to pull up, leaving the leg out. And we don't want to do too many rotations in the spin. We're just going to step and push out. As long as we're getting that weight up and underneath, so we can get a nice exit. Okay, and voila, there we have it. That's it, spin feed. Okay, if you'd like to subscribe, I'm gonna put a uh, subscribe button here. And also, if you thought the video was slightly helpful or helpful in any way, it would be great if you give it a little thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I should hopefully see you next week. Bye.